it's Wednesday, March 11th. So these are the books that we had to get for my American Studies class this quarter. So before today's class, we were instructed to read Paradise Lost. Have you ever tried to read this book? It's like reading the Odyssey, only more boring. This is Adam and Eve in the garden of whatever. I'm not a religious person, so this, not only do I know nothing about, but I don't particularly care to know anything about. And I simply don't see how this book is relevant at all to American studies. Since I got like two pages into this and realized that I have absolutely no desire, nor really the ability to read something this big and this boring in a matter of a couple days, because it's like 450 pages long, I decided to spark note it. Problem is, I got halfway through the spark notes and they were just as boring as the book. I mean, isn't the point of spark notes to make those of us way too lazy to read the book be able to understand it without actually having to read the book? So I'm sitting in American Studies today and she's talking about the book and she's comparing it to First to Worst, which is this documentary we watched about how much the public schools in California absolutely stuck, suck because of Proposition 13 in the 90s. And I was like, how are you comparing these two things? One is a spin-off on a Bible story and the other is about California. And then she was reading little excerpts out of the book and they were definitely not in prose like this. And the stuff she was reading was like literally talking about schools in California. And so I kind of look over the shoulder of the girl sitting in front of me who has her book open and I realize that this is not the same Paradise Lost. The Paradise Lost we're supposed to be reading for class is about the California school systems. The Paradise Lost that I was reading was about Adam and Eve. So now I have a final next week and this book is going to be on the final which means I have to go out and buy the book and actually read it for the final. A little bit better news though, I enrolled in my third class and I got the permission code to crash one of the classes that I wanted to get into that was already full. So I got to drop geology because instead I'm taking a personal computer class that Kyle says is super easy and it counts as my other science credit. Yes. Yes, 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 yes! I also talked to my American Studies professor yesterday, during her office hours, and she knows who I am now. And I got my little form to plan out all the American Studies classes that I'm going to take in order to complete a major in American Studies. And then I can declare my major anytime because all I need to declare my major is the intro class that I've already taken. I just wanted to point out the awesome shirt that I'm wearing today which is my Carmina Burana t-shirt from last quarter from Concert Choir. Nerd fighters, yes! So I kind of feel that it's judgment day because today is the day that I find out if I get to be an RA next year. Supposedly our letters will be in our box by the end of the day, which means sometime before five o'clock. I deserve this. I have worked my butt off. I had good interviews, or so I thought, and I am a perfect candidate to be an RA next year. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I'm a good kid, I have fairly decent grades, and I really, really, really want to be an RA. I must confess, I've already checked my mailbox four times today, and the letter's still not there. And then I went to check again after class. And I ran into Mary and she said they're not going to be there till 5. So originally I was going to finish this video after I find out, so you'd know. But because I've already made it way too long, I'm going to post it now. And you will find out when I see you tomorrow.